Hi, I'm Jeff Stokes. Welcome to Jeff's Daily Dose of Encouragement. God is the God of the impossible. You know, He can do things and bring things together and bring things about that are, that we don't even think are possible. Um, I'm in a situation at the moment whereby an opportunity has uh, come up before me that until just you know a couple of months ago or so just a few months ago or so it didn't even it like didn't even exist and and um if i look back maybe 18 months or something like that and where i was then it would never have even been in my mind it was never in my mind that that was possible and even up to a few months ago it was sort of like i thought things were going in in one direction and then that would fall through and then and then it was going to come from another direction and that would fall through and then suddenly it's just like everything's come together beautifully in this perfect package all right in front of me and and and, it, and it's all go um, i'm not getting into the details of what that is obviously so hopefully you can get my drift that god when things seem like they are not going to happen and, and as I said, they don't even exist. God, it's almost like God brings them together just for you. And um, I, I, the reason I've got that idea up is because if you look at um, in Exodus 39, at the end of that chapter, it talks about how the children of Israel and, and Moses had, had finished making the tabernacle that God had uh, commanded them to make. And it says this quite telling sentence at the end. In verse 42 to 43, and it says, According to all that the Lord commanded Moses, so the children of Israel made all the work. And Moses did look upon all the work, and behold, they had done it as the Lord had commanded. Even so had they done it, and Moses blessed them. Now just consider that for a minute. This, if you look at the, the temple, the tabernacle and all, the bits and pieces that had to be made perfectly to fit, and all the people of Israel, you know, there was hundreds of thousands of them by now, to try and get that many people together on one project, all working together and getting it right, and doing exactly as the Lord said, knowing that, you know, the children of Israel were quite as stiff-necked, because further back it says that they, God called them a stiff-necked people, and yet God was able to get them to pull this project off. And I mean, this is hundreds of thousands of people. Sometimes you can't even get a small church all to get on the same uh, page to do things. So this it's quite a miracle, but God, when God wants to bring something into being for a people or for you personally, he can just pull it all together and that'll happen. So that's my encouragement for you today. That's probably a longer winded way of saying it. God is a God of the impossible. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in him and he in God. And just trust God to do the impossible for you. God bless you. Have a great day.